Travis Wayne Goodsell. Well, I got uh, caught up with an old YouTube commenter, uh, Dodger Dave. As uh, YouTube had uh, hid some of his comments from my held for review, as I was trying to get caught up on all of them, they just they disappeared, and it wasn't until a uh, <clears throat> a sex spammer uh, sent a comment that I was able to see the ones that YouTube was hiding, and, and uh, yeah, good to be uh, in contact with Dodger Dave again as he triggers the memories of when I was in Southern California. I never did get to talk to any Crooklynites about uh, the Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, they had spray painted out there in Brooklyn. Brooklyn! But, uh, yeah, good times on the mission, even though the church is false. But uh, Sunday School lesson is going to cover sections 37 to 40, and they singled out the passage from section 38, verse 27. Behold, this I have given unto you as a parable... What as a parable? Uh, you'd have to go back uh, to is it 26? For what man among you, having twelve sons, and is no respecter of them, and they serve him obediently, and he saith unto the one, Be thou clothed in robes, and sit thou here, and to the other, Be thou clothed in rags, and sit thou there and looketh upon his sons, and saith, I am just. <laughs> Behold, I have given you unto you as a parable, and it is even as I am. I say unto you, Be one, and if ye are not one, ye are not mine. And so, taken into the context of the parable, it's treating everybody equally and not exalting one and debasing another. And yet in the church, that has taken a twist according to the manner in which those of us who realize the church is false and want to no longer be one as Mormons get uh, violent whether verbally or even physically as uh, Mormons create an exclusive circle and even within the church there are circles within circles cliques as they're even called by those here in Utah. Uh, and you see that on uh, YouTube. You have the certain cliques who go to certain Mormon channels, and then you have the cliques even in ex-Mormondom. Uh, they s tend to stick together as that's part of the baggage of Mormonism is the formation of cliques that your group is the only one true group and everybody else is wrong and that's not what is meant here by if ye are not one ye are not mine <coughs> Mormons 
are not catching on as the prophets are panicking now as they're they're not quite they're trying to still be subtle they've still got that old conservative mentality in them but they're realizing Mormons are getting more out of control and disobedient and uh, it's that spiritual witness that the prophets had set them up for to deny science deny truth and call spiritual witness truth and knowledge instead. That's not what Moroni is talking about. The Mormons will not listen. Because uh, any other interpretation is not one with them, and therefore is wrong, and therefore it is not of God, and is apostate and evil and so forth. But, uh, again, that is taken out of context, as verse 26 uh, tells us very clearly, it's how we treat other people as one. That we don't discriminate. That we don't say that, oh, you're the English Anglo-Saxon, and therefore you get exalted, whereas you are a refugee from a bleep hole country. And therefore you must be in rags and banned and punished and shot by cops we are not one in the church we are not one in this nation there is respect for certain groups over others and so despite the Mormons thinking that they are one you are not because uh, you dismiss anybody who presents something that you do not understand you dismiss me as those of you who are uh, served in Spanish or other foreign language uh, missions since 2009 uh, you use the scriptures that had my influence in them and you don't realize it do you nope you'd rather uh, believe your own little fantasy world that I'm the evil guy and you have no idea that I'm actually in your life if you are actually obedient in studying your scriptures in those foreign language editions. I couldn't get everything that I wanted in. I rejected a lot. <laughs> like trying to show that Joseph Smith was right about calling Peter a seer. That's in the Joseph Smith translation. They didn't want to add Egyptian to the footnotes. So, just remember that when you're listening to the lesson in Sunday school. As uh, man, it's getting bad with the coronavirus. Watching the children, they have a, a graph chart of uh, the number of children getting infected and I'm able to witness it's like since Tuesday boom 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 it's almost as if the kids who went to church on Sunday got infected and then took it to school and infected everybody at school so it's going up and that's scary because we're never going to get out of this if you don't cut it out. The government has to cut it out. The church has to cut it out. And they don't because they want it spread and escalated. They want the division. They don't want to unify us. They don't want to treat us as equals. This virus specifically targets the weak those who are poor because they can't afford health insurance 
and uh, those who are minorities whereas the rich whites are the ones in better health because they're richer so yeah there is no unity that is going on so it's the weekend